Two tarantulas, shipped weeks apart, have been seized at the Edmonton International Airport. David Owasik speaks with the Canadian Border Services officer who found them both. Longtime Canadian Border Services officer Iris Zelter is no stranger to finding what smugglers are trying to hide. But every now and then out at the airport comes something really strange. I've never come across tarantulas before. She discovered a spider packed away and hidden back in May. Not long after, she unraveled another. Yeah, I'm the one that found them both. I don't mind spiders as long as they're where they belong, but I was quite surprised to come across them. I thought it was something else when I was unwrapping it. She found the first one inside a suspicious shipment of common zip ties, landing in Edmonton from a courier service out of Hong Kong in mid-May. She kept unwrapping more and more, then all of a sudden... I found a box concealed inside a box, and inside of there was a little Ziploc bag. And I unrolled the little Ziploc bag very carefully, took a staple out, and all of a sudden the little brown thing inside of it stuck out its little legs. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's a tarantula. The second tarantula was found days later. This time, it was in its very own airplane, so to speak, but still, sadly, lacking any sort of leg room. All right, so it was a kid's toy, and I didn't want to destroy a children's toy, so I, un I d undid the screws at the back, and then inside that was a box, and inside that little tiny box, wrapped up in a Ziploc bag, with no room to breathe or move, was a, a, a tarantula. Canadian Border Services called Environment Canada and the two spiders were taken, examined, and found to not be on any endangered list. In fact, they were okay to come into Canada had they been brought in correctly. While no smuggling charges have been laid, the two arachnids, a male and female, have now found a new home in the bug room at Edmonton's Royal Alberta Museum where, unlike the tight quarters that saw them transported across the globe... So the poor little thing was all squished up like this. It couldn't even move. And then when I un slowly unrolled it, and all of a sudden, ping, his little legs stuck out. The two spiders now have plenty of room to spread those legs. David Owasik, CTV News, Edmonton.